I had my stroke on the 1st of September 2002 and um, I was um, in the Rose Garden in Blenheim Palace with my children and some friends' children and we were having a lovely day and I had been sort of covered with kids on the, on the grass, you know, being a dinosaur or something and when I tried to get up to go and follow them, I couldn't, couldn't move. The whole world went a bit around me and I reached sort of for the ground and couldn't feel it and I reached for my legs and couldn't feel them and my trousers felt sort of empty like I'd been shot. Come on daddy we're leaving! I, I was just a, um, a blank you know sort of empty um, person lying on the ground. Every year in the UK 150,000 people have a stroke. This is roughly equivalent to one person every five minutes. Stroke is the second biggest killer and the number one cause of serious disability. It can strike at any time. I was in um, breakfast time, a shower. I was uh, going Christmas shopping with my wife. I walked down a perfectly straight corridor, straight, flat, no steps, no corners, to our flat and tripped and fell over again. And this time I couldn't get up. So I was walking past um, a mirror in my hallway quite a large mirror, and um, I noticed that my eye looked funny. And I um, was weightlifting using 10 pound weights, and I lifted them incorrectly and damaged uh, an artery in the left side of my neck. This hand, and that one, and speech, and um, reading and writing, and numbers, and um, communication. For those who survive the ordeal, hospital is just the beginning. As well as physical symptoms, stroke patients also suffer with depression, boredom, frustration, loss of memory and fear. So the whizzing pellets merely confuse the dog who continued towards his master. It is during this period that Interact Stroke Support can make a difference. It was founded in the year 2000 by theatre director Caroline Smith. Well, it was a seed that was sown by my brother, in fact, who was a psychiatrist. Um, and I come from a theatre background. And when he was very ill, we had long conversations between us about how medicine, the medical world, could be helped by the arts. And his view was that the arts could provide stimulation could provide a change of mood in patients and with these two things that patient would want to get better, help get better and be better faster. Hello Om, how are you? The charity provides live and interactive readings to stroke patients at a time when the injured brain needs as much stimulation as possible. Sister Margaret McLaughlin. Um, since meeting the Interact team, I think it's probably about 10 years ago, they've been very valuable uh, working and supporting us with looking after stroke patients particularly. And Interact have got time to sit and Our read kind of individual to an individual patient, try and obtain some feedback so that they actually will interact. And then from that I find that they actually are much easier communicating with, with staff, with therapists. Arlene Ward, therapist. I definitely see that um, Interact has a benefit with the patients. Once they've been spoken to or read to, they're much more in focus, in tune, um, and definitely more receptive with the therapy that they receive afterwards. Stroke is often a devastating condition causing patients to be really severely physically disabled but also causing major psychological problems, communication problems. And during that phase where people are in hospital um, and then subsequently when they go home, um, they often withdraw into themselves, they uh, find it difficult to communicate, they often don't um, participate as effectively as they might do. Uh, with rehabilitation. And what I found in the 16 years that uh, Interact actors have been coming onto the ward is that having a professional actor coming and engaging with a patient, reading to them, 
um, can often help people come to terms with their illnesses, bring them out of themselves, um, and help them to participate better actually with their formal therapy. An independent research programme was carried out over one year by St Thomas's Hospital London. And one of the things that uh, the, 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 they picked up on this research was that the ward was a very much better place after they had group readings because suddenly they were all laughing together, they all had something in common together, they were talking to each other, whereas before there was this sort of isolation from one bed to another. And as soon as the dynamite left his master's hand... Interact currently have over 200 professional actors on their books who are specially trained in using all their dramatic skills to communicate with the patients. Happiness will follow you everywhere you go. Which one of you mangy polecats painted my horse red? Honour the charge they made. Honour the light brigade. Noble 600. I insisted that they had to be professional actors because uh, one of the main things is to communicate with a patient. Well, anybody who's ever been in hospital knows how difficult it is to, for a patient um, lying there to concentrate on anything. So whoever is going to read to them needs to have all the dramatic skills at their disposal, like the use of the pause, for instance. Um, they also need to, because so many of the patients we knew had problems with speech, um, they also needed to be able to pick up the unspoken reaction and know how to deal with it. Because an actor, a trained actor, is trained to pick up what's going wrong with this audience, what's right with this audience, how can I correct it? And that's um, why, more than anything else, um, I felt it was very important to use professionally trained actors. They deliver over 11,000 readings a year in 20 hospitals and 50 stroke clubs in London and across the UK. Budgerigars are native to which country? They provide material that stimulates patients from every walk of life, chosen to suit their present level of comprehension. I side. Well, we don't know what's coming tomorrow. But demand for the service far outweighs the funding. Nia J. Mahindru, Chief Executive. Because we don't get any government money, every penny for us really does count. So it doesn't matter how small the donation is, that, that money will go a hell of a long way. For example, if we were to get a, a, a sum of £10,000, £10,000 would pay for our service in a hospital for a year. I remember some uh, very good quotes uh, by various uh, patients who were saying, here, saying things like providing good food for the brain. Interact Reading Services contributes to the general well-being of the patients. It makes them more confident communicating. It makes them more proactive in their treatment. I know it works. I just don't know what makes it work. But as a package, it is a very positive element of a patient's recovery. So I think it's a stroke of genius, the actual idea of how the company works. And I'm very grateful for that. I think one of the differences between me going up and talking to a patient, or maybe a speech therapist going and talking to a patient, compared to when the interact actor comes, is that we are constantly expecting the patient to um, give something back to us, to be working, to prove that they're actually getting better. I think what the Interact actor does is to come in and sit there passively, but the actor's not expecting that patient to um, perform back. And I think that's a really different approach to rehabilitation uh, than is different to anything else we really offer those patients. Um, so having trained actors, having people who know how to read, how to communicate, particularly with difficult patients, by that I mean not awkward ones, but patients who uh, have found it difficult to engage uh, with the doctors or the nurses or the therapists. Those are the people I think who benefit most by, by the long chalk. I've seen at first hand the devastating effects that a stroke can have. 
So that's one of the reasons that I support the work of Interact Stroke Support. Interact employs professional actors to read books and stories to stroke survivors. This kind of interaction can help someone who's had a stroke reconnect with themselves. It can boost a patient's memory and communication skills and also stimulate imagination and alleviate depression. So, at a time when help is really needed, Interact Stroke Support does just that. It helps. The work of Interact does speed up recovery of patients um, through the rehab in this, in this hospital. This made me, me feel so special. Um, I, uh, I couldn't wait for the next session. Really a huge amount of stimulus and intimacy and joy. Obviously that's exercise in your brain as well and this is the whole thing because your memory has been damaged. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. And I think with Interact, it's one-on-one -on -one contact and part of the message is someone's here for me. And I think that's really important. It's the expression on the faces she reads. She lives the story. And that's what I like. And we always dreamt, hoped, that it would become an official fourth therapy. That's the dream. In the last year, the charity has provided 6,500 one-to-one readings, delivered by 160 professional actors in 18 hospitals. But Interact Stroke Support cannot thrive and grow without your help. So please, give what you can to help maintain this vital work. To make a donation, please go to www interactstrokesupport.org and click donate or call 0207 931 6458. Thank you.